morning, everyone. Happy New Year. My best wishes for all football fans and non-football fans. Health and family still is the most important. A bit more important than football. About the game tomorrow, we had four games until now in the past ten days. Uh, we had four wins, so sometimes it can give you a feeling of unbeatable. But then this derby comes at the right moment because it puts you back to earth and back to reality. We are aware of the impact of that game. If you see, fans are already talking three, four weeks about January 4th. I know people coming from abroad, they fly in to come and watch only this game. The media today present and social media in a lot or we couldn't. I also think that the pressure is a bit on their side because they have to catch up with us uh, if they want to stay in the race for the championship. I think they have to beat us. So I think they have a bit more pressure than we do. We will play our game like we like to play. Uh, not more than that. It's a three-point game. But we are well aware about impact and image for the club and ourselves that the result will give us. My squad, um, everyone who trained Yaji and Rashid Juma, they're still uh, not game fit. We will make them in the next couple of weeks. So for the rest, all of the players are available for me to, to select. We still have a training session in the afternoon to prepare the last small things towards the game tomorrow and after the training session I will make my final 18.
Kwa hiyo asifikirie kwamba Yanga ni timu nyepesi na timu rahisi it is going to be very hard. Na hata wao kama walitaa la timu na dana kutaa la timu ambao iko very strong. Kwa hiyo na sema kabisa kwamba game haitakuwa rahisi vile lakini sisi tuko tayari kupambana kwa kila hali ambayo itakayotokea kwa ndani. Uh, mechi za Simba na Yanga mimi so strange nimekuwa uh, toka nikiwa mchezaji nimeza kwa funga nikiwa mchezaji nilikuwa coach nilicheza kwa funga vile vile kwa kipindi cha kufunga timu bora ile shimu ina wachezaji wazuri ina ina bila shimu nzuri lakini kwenye mpira uongozi na tutumia kwa pembeni is only decision in the cat scene kwa hiyo sisi tumejipanga dakika 90 kukamilisha according to the laws of the game na na mtazamo wetu sisi tunaomba waamuzi watendeshe fair wasiangalie tu kama kuna mashirikisho yote kusema tumepata changamoto nyingi sana katika masuala ya waamuzi sekula kwa kuta sana lakini atakao kutasijua sheria ameona na watu wengi wa complain lakini ndio hali halisi ya mpira wetu na naweza kukiri kwamba tusipoyafumbia ma ama tukiyafumbia macho ndio tutakuwa tunadorora kesi kitu hapa hapa tu tusonga mbele juu zimetoka list ya waamuzi tutaresha afford na sisi tumo kwenye afford lakini si kama kuna hata mmoja wa wale wameingia hapo kanisaidia kujibu kama kuna yule mtazamo yote ambaye ameingia kwenye afford sasa why kwa sababu tunashinda ku kumaintain laws of the game kuna timu kama Somalia ya timu kama Togo na kuna watu pale kwa sababu nasimamia timu ni sheria na pia sasa mimi stake sio kwamba kuna kitu lakini nami kwamba waamuzi kwa kwamba kwa kesho tutaresha fair according to the laws of the game na sisi tutaitaji kucheza kazi tunaweza lakini ni laws of the game na tume train uh, katika strategy zetu kwa kesho disclose kwa tume kufanya kidali lakini tumeweza kujifanga baadhi baadhi tukosa wachezaji wawili eh wa sio wawili tukosa Lamine kwa sababu ana kadi tatu na tukosa pia Tariq ambaye alimia siku mechi ya mwisho lakini we, the rest wote wako vizuri na mjana mzuri mzuri na jioni tukosa decision ya mwisho kuweza ku polish up kuangalia kukumbushia ile mambo ambayo ni muhimu kwetu kwa hiyo naamini kwamba uh, mechi haitakuwa rais kama tunafikiria wao kwa sababu pia ni mapambano na sisi tumepambana na vijana wote wako vizuri na kila mtu ana masika kutoka kucheza ile mechi. Sio mechi kwamba labda watu wa Europe wale tatu hata kama ingeweza kwa kazi leo sasa hivi hapo. Vijana wametoka kwa kabili bado ni wako kwa wako ready to, to take off even today kama ingekuwa ni sasa lakini kwa sababu watu wote kwa shambala kesho basi tusubiri kesho. Sisi tuko watu vizuri. So, uh ni watakie coach and his uh counterpart. So tukije mjema, tukije tu mchezo wema sababu unataka mema tupate sisi eh tupate sisi kwa sababu sisi ni timu ambayo ni kongwe na timu nyingine za ndani tulikuwa tuko nyuma huko kabisa mpaka tuka tuna tuna tunaanza kushuka darani sawa from number 17 sisi kuna darani mafuta leo tuko na basu na basi so it big achievement kwetu na big achievement tutaje kama timu sawa kwa hiyo na mimi kwamba mechi ya kesho pia tupo na masuri kupunguza zile points ambazo tunazo na wale ambao karibu kwa hiyo ni sema ni kwamba tunatakie uh, kila heri na niwaambie wasiwasi wale hapa wa watu ambao walikuwa nasema kwamba labda ni kwasa ni goal kweli ni kwa nauma lakini nimepata treatment nimepona kwa hiyo sio mgonjwa tena atakayesema mgonjwa yeye yeah, na mimi tukipima hizo tunakana point kwa hiyo ni wachukua wale wote ndio wao wanisaidia katika kuweza kufanikisha matendo yangu na chukue fursa hii kwa sababu sijawahi kupata kukaa kwa mimi na ni shabani toka nipata recovery. Eh, na washukuru wadau wengi na shukuru kampuni ya Sunshine Group of Companies. Na shukuru na mshukuru uongozi uh, wa wa, wa Yanga. Nisaidia na mshukuru pia Haspo. Kama shilingi yangu sio kama Simba from pia bana. Mkiamo anatoka Iringa Haspo kwa toka Iringa wanaachia mtaa. Kwa hiyo my my brother in law Uh, na shukuru pia uh, familia ya mheshimiwa Ruvi walichangia nao kuendeleza kuendesha na wadau wengine bali bali kwa hiyo ni washukuru kwa nafasi hii kwa kweli wadishi kisadamu kwa wadishi wote kwamba niko vizuri na wasiliona kwamba labda kiliona basi na pressure pressure sina toka nilipofanya operation last year mpaka uh, leo ukipima niko ndogo na wote hapa ndio kwebu tukipima nadhani percent ya wote wa wote so ndio ni sema niondoe wasiwasi kama niko fit na niko tayari kupambana na mimi nitasema sisi nipate matokeo mazuri ya kesho ombe Mungu pekee matokeo yote mnizungumza na yeye asante sana nashukuru kwa sababu kabla tujaongea na mtakatifu na tuliuliza maswali ya kocha ili waweze kujibu
Not in a derby. I played a lot of derbies myself, so I know what uh, what the feelings, I know what the expectations are. Um, but I coached in front of sixty thousand, yes, but not in a derby. Uh, in fact, it doesn't change much. It's still a game. There are three points to take or to lose. Um, <coughs> you play football. Everything around us, we have to keep it out of our minds. We don't have to focus on what is around us. We have to focus still on what is on the pitch, what we need to do, what our task is in every position. So, coaching the derby is still a game. It doesn't change much. So, I'm good. Coach, in your first two games, you scored 10 goals. But in your uh, two last games, you scored four goals. So, the goals decreased. And more in the first thing, Africans, uh, many people believe that in Africans is much tough than those teams that you have played in the previous days. So, what is the secret behind it? Because tomorrow we will face the better teams than those you have played before, and the goals decrease in numbers. I never played with the same team, never. So we also changed our team. Um, the last game, I think the opponent did well to, to shift to a five defense against us. So you're always a bit um, depending on what the opponent is doing. Uh, in the beginning, everything was new, so they didn't know how we would play. Um, after a few games, they know how to play, so they can adapt a bit. And secondly, uh, I also rotated. Uh, player. Tomorrow is a totally different game. Um, the motivation will be much higher than against the smaller teams as well. Uh, probably the team I will put on the field will be totally different as in the past four games. So there is no secret. The secret is tomorrow after the game. You win or you lose. Uh, 
kuhusu mchezo wa kesho tuna imani tunaenda kukuta mchezo mgumu tunaenda kupambana na wapinzani wa kopo wazuri tuna heshima na anga na wachezaji wazuri na mwalimu mzuri hata sasa kutangalia mchezo wao mape mzuri lakini mbali mbali ya yote tunajiamini sisi kama simba tunaamini tuna wachezaji wazuri na tuna timu pia hata matokeo yetu na mimi kupita nataka kusoma nzuri. Kwa hiyo hichi ni moja kitu kinachotupa morali nzuri ya kuelekea katika mchezo wetu. Ah mwisho kabisa kwanza ninashukuru mashabiki wetu kwa kuweza kujitokeza na kuweza kutoa support katika mchezo wetu yote tuliocheza toka mwanzo wa msimu mpaka mchezo wetu mimi mitatu iliyopita wameza kujitokeza na kutupa support kwa asilimia na moja ah ninachowaomba kesho waweze kujitokeza tena kwa wingi aweza uh, kutupa support tena ili tuweze kufanya vizuri kwa sababu mchezo wa kesho tunaamini kama tulivyojolea tunaishi na mashabiki wetu wao wana wachezaji wa 12 kwa hiyo wingi wao ndio huwa unatupa simu rahisi zaidi ya kuweza kufanya vizuri sina kikubwa cha kuahidi kwa nasema kwa kesho tunaelekea katika mchezo mgumu lakini tunaenda kupambana kwa ajili ya timu tunaenda kupambana kwa ajili ya kutafuta pointi tatu muhimu kusababisha tuendelee kuwa juu katika msimamo wa ligi. Ah mwisho kabisa niseme na karibisha kwa Tanzania wote wapenda soka waje kuangalia kidani kesho upate sisi Simba tutaonyesha mchezo wa fair play, mchezo wa kuungana kabisa tutaonyesha zetu. Ah na mwisho siku tuna imani kwa juhudi zetu sisi kama Simba Mungu atafikia tuondoka kwa sababu tatu. Asante sana. Okay. <laughs> Kikin <laughs> Maneno sio sote sisi tunawatia mashabiki hizo. Ila sisi kama wachezaji tunaenda kuzitazama dakika chini zinasemaje. Na ni nani ambaye alijaanda vizuri ambaye anaweza kuivuka na ushindi katika mchezo wa kesho. Ila mimi ningependa waomba mashabiki wetu wa Yanga wasiogope kitu, wajitokeze kesho kwa wingi kabisa. Yaani wawe na confidence, wavae wapendeze, wahakishe kabisa katika mchezo wa kesho. Sisi bado tatu lazima zibaki. Na tatu lazima zijengwa. Wasiogope maneno ya manara maneno ya mashabiki wa Simba wao tutawafunga 7 tutawafunga 8 8 si tutafunga 5 sijui tutambalance huyu zawadi hao ni maneno tu kwa sababu maneno yangekuwa anacheza kwa kiwango gani na mimi ni saizi sijui hata hao watu walikuwa wanaongea tangia zamani saizi wangekuwa mbali zaidi lakini siku zote mchezo wa mpira bwana mchezo wa kuheshimika kuna, kuna matokeo ya hatari unaweza kutoka nyumbani katika kichwa chako umetoka na matokeo yako kwa maana naenda pale na chukua kwa mtichi yako na kushangaa shangao na kapala unapigwa mbili afu unatoka pale tena unaanza kufanya mambo mengine ambayo hata jamii haipendezeshi kwa hiyo mimi naomba mashabiki wa Simba wasitoke tuna pointi zao tatu tunaona magoli yao wakatoka nyumbani kwao wakiamini kabisa kwamba tunakwenda uwanjani pale tunaenda kumfunga City Yanga goli tatu nne tano yani watoke na na akili yao kabisa wakijua kabisa ule ni mchezo wa mpira na mchezo wa mpira si yote yule ambaye atakayefuata yale maelekezo ya mwalimu wao basi ndio atakayeza kuvuka na kushinda katika mchezo huu hayo okay sasa ni jamii na sawi na kuna mtindo wa sasa sawi ya ndio na swali kwa kwa nini na mlikuwa na mazuri tangu mwa kwa sababu tuko chini lakini chama wote kubwa kwa kabidi ni sawi ya shambulizi kwa kesa kwa sababu ni kama sasa kwa sababu ya kesho kwa sababu ya sababu ya ukiangalia kabisa kweli unaongea unanizungumza ni lafuri kabisa na tikino gobenti ile swala wameshaliona na wamefanyia kazi ndani ya siku mbili tatu hizi ambazo tunakutana mazoezini 
na hapo kiangalia wataka vipindi hichi kwamba kuna wachezaji baadhi ya wachezaji na maingizo mapya wamekuja na tunaona kabisa kwamba wana wana uwezo kufiti katika katika hii nafasi na kuweza kufanya kitu bora zaidi kile kwa bora na kuweza kwa kufanya mashabiki wa Yanga waweze kutabasamu mpya wote Na mara nyingi sana tunazozo tusipate kile ambacho tunakitarajia. Ninyi ndio ambao mnacheza na nyinyi pengine ni makepe. Mnafanya nini ili kutuletea ile ladha kuonyesha kwamba nyinyi ni timu kubwa na hii ni debi ambayo inapaswa kuheshimika? Labda ingeza ingeanza mimi kujua ndio swa. Unajua siku zote mchezo wa mpira bwana unapokutana hizi timu mbili dadi. Siku zote mimi naamini kabisa fans ndio wanafanya dadi na kuwa inakwenda tofauti kiasi kwamba inapelekea kuwapigia kelele wachezaji wengi ambao wale uwanjani wewe kwa unakuta mchezaji yule ambaye sio machua player unakuta anakuwa hayuko vile ambapo mwalimu anapotaka acheze katika mfumo wake unakuta anapoteza ile realism yake ya uchezaji lakini mimi kitu kimoja ambacho ningependa kwa toa off mashabiki wetu wa yanga kwamba sasa hivi wachezaji tulokuwa nao pale kila mchezaji anajitambua kwamba sisi kesho tunakwenda kuingia pale uwanjani tunaenda kufuata mfumo wa mwalimu pamoja na tactics zake ambazo azifundisha Oh sisi atutoangalia fans. Oh sisi tutakwenda pale kwa kurudisha mashabiki wetu wa Yanga na kuhakikisha tunaibuka kwa kiasi tatu. Ah kwa kadi wangu mimi sina shaka na wachezaji wachezaji wa Simba. Na mimi na wachezaji wamejelewa. Wachezaji wengi wenye uzoefu mkubwa na pia tuna 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 muunganiko mzuri ndani ya uwanja na nje ya uwanja. Kwa hiyo kitu cha pressure si amini kama tutaweza kufungua hata kidogo na mimi na wachezaji wengi walikuja mchezo mwingi mkubwa na mchezo aina hii na mchezo tunaenda kukutana nao kesho kwa hiyo sina mashaka kabisa kwa na kitu kitaweza kwa kwa mchezo wa kwa kubwa na kuteza pale pale tunaomba mashabiki wetu wa kuongeza kwa wingi waendelee kuwa na imani na sisi kikubwa si tutaenda kupambana kwa hiyo timu yetu na kuweza kupata kumtatua kwa sababu